own against the clock. It's waiting patiently to be called forward. It's on the road just beside the Tina Drum. Recognize some of the judges' faces there. That particular gentleman is the head judge. There may be the odd yellow card here, but here we go. And the first pump, 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 and then it stretches out a little more quickly. And there the arms are absolutely working so hard. Shoulders pumping away the stretches in there. 11.376. Involved. It's a little bit more exciting. Let's just have a look at the start here from Foster. Solid. Out to the side to get moving, and then you want to try to get those wheels under the center of the body to grab the maximum speed. So that's the first 100 meters sprint. Sirima Krishna Puranik. She's wearing 39. There she is, ready to roll. She's 34 years old, and on her inside is uh, Gardines, Huerta Gardines. And they're either side of the central reservation. It looks like Gardines has got this absolutely beautifully sprinted and 11.401. Mexico. Mexico have got a great reputation in this uh, inline speed skating. And uh, there you go. Huerta Cardines takes the win there, but more important, pretty good time as well. 11.401. In Tom, it's Guatemala's. I love these names. Adilis Fresedo de Leon Palacios. She's closest to camera. Karen Tam is on the. Oh, and that will be, uh, yeah, will be a little yellow card, I believe. A little warning. I think Karen Tam, the red top, farthest from us. She has made that. Yeah, you can see she dropped down. That was a nervous moment. Yep, there's the yellow. It's so difficult, isn't it? Because you're, you're so aching to move on as quick as possible, but you cannot anticipate the gun. You've got to be in control. You can't fall over. Here we go. Second opportunity, second chance. Here we go. We're underway. And me immediately well we've got some outside whistling there but it's a great performance by guatemala leon palacios is working so hard just look at those arms fantastic 11.335 not as actually uh, quicker than both Huerta gardines 401 and guatemala's leon palacios absolutely well that's a, that's quite a hammering, isn't it? That was about uh, four meters victory there. 11.335. So Tam will not be us, James, and Cuba's Cantilo Tundido. Well, it looks like there's only one competitor here at the moment, and it's against the clock then, isn't it? Driving hard. That's very good. That is Vivas James. 11.57. That was not as good as the other athletes. I think that is Venezuela. It is. It's Venezuela's uh, Solima del Val Vivas James. So Cuba's Adriana Cantillo did not get to the start line. wasn't a big stretch there at the end there was it just shows you how difficult it is Vivas James there finishing did not start uh, Cantillo 
goes immediately on to Argentina together with Italy. Now, this is going to be tight. Look at the Italian. A great start here. Hansia Varani. Varani is absolutely flying at the moment. But uh, Siri is nowhere to be seen. My goodness me, Michaela Siri was absolutely totally controlled there by Asia Varani. We know that she's got a fantastic track record. Just look at that for superiority. She'd broken the back of her opponent within the first 20 meters. Watch this start. Absolutely superb. Her opponent looks so sluggish. The Argentinian nowhere to be seen. Great performance. Ansia Varani. And once again, we're moving forward with uh, Chile and Taipei. And Moya certainly should be favorite for this from Maria Jose Moya. Well, it was too much closer than I expected. Chile's Moya, she's 33 years old now, and 27 year old Chen Ying Chu gave her a great uh, run. And maybe Chen Ying Chu actually out sprinted her there. It was a great run. Chile closest to camera there. That's his Moya. Do you know what? I can't separate them from this angle, but the photo certainly would, and the time mechanism will be even more impressive. I got a feeling there that uh, Chen Ying Chu, it was, it was 10.9. It was a fantastic run. Superb run from Chen Ying Chu. We may see Moya again because it's all about uh, timing him into the next one. Heat seven, Langa Torres and Pedrono, France. Look at the power of the French girl. Matilda Pedrono, fantastic. There's a photo once again, but uh, wow, there's no time to grab breath, is there? Certainly if you're on the track, on the road there, there's no time to grab any breath. It's not unheard of guys to come into these very fast sprint events. The stretch was uh, very, very even, wasn't it there? But it's not unheard of for them not to take any breaths at all. Just worked very hard. Padrono has just made it. I thought it would be uh, better than that. But now we've got the gold medalists in the 500, the gold medalists in the time trial 200. Germany on the left, but here is the uh, Colombian girl, Anna uh, Gaini Camela Pajaro Guzman, who has been fantastically supported by the Colombian crowd here. And, uh, well, she's got to perform well on this particular occasion. Do you know, we could see these actually in the final a little bit later on today. Here we go. Heat eight, they're away, and that was a great start by Gaini Camela. Camela, just look at the technique she's got. Very different. Oh, and Shimek actually is nowhere to be seen. She's only going through the motions, but look at that. 10.691. Wow. And I think uh, Anna Leticia Shimek, she had, had tears on the podium because um, the other three in the 500 were actually disqualified including Pajaro. But this is a totally dominant performance and there was nothing like that from Shimek. There was no effort, was there? So great work there from uh, Pajaro. 10.675. Wow, that was all over in no time at all. Save the best to last there, don't we? Very relaxed atmosphere here. The uh, Powell Avenue. That was 